What's up, YouTube? Got a little uh, quick overview, review of the uh, Kaiser Cutlery Vanguard uh, bag lighter folding knife here. Um, Kaiser Cutlery is a um, Chinese company, kind of like Civivi. Um, I believe uh, Artisan Cutlery is Kaiser's parent company, much like uh, Weed Knives is uh, Civivi's parent company. Um, they do pretty good work. Uh, they're definitely not like a gas station knife. Kaiser um, is a pretty decently reputable uh, company, especially now in 2024 in the uh, folding knife world. So uh, this is a little design they made, uh, part of what they call their Vanguard series. Uh, this is the bag lighter. This is actually a pretty well used bag lighter. Um, it used to be mine, uh, one of my buddies at work. Uh, I kind of broke the tip off of it. I, I sold him the knife a while back, and uh, he's definitely used the heck out of it and uh, gave it back to me to see if I could sharpen it, maybe fix the tip. So um, this isn't a video of me fixing the tip. I'll probably make another video of sharpening the knife and uh, probably end up fixing it off camera with like a Dremel or something. Um, not too bad of a of a little break there, but. This is pretty thin blade stock, decently thin anyway. It's a full flat grind on it. Um, go ahead and do some measurements and size comparisons on it. Tape measure up next to it. Looking at three and a half inches on the blade length. Um, sitting right at three and a quarter cutting edge. And it's got a little uh, sharpening twirl right there. Overall length from tip to the very butt is eight inches although right now it's probably about seven and seven eighths so that tip broke off uh do some size comparisons here that's a spyderco pair of military two same uh around about the same cutting edge i'd say as the paramilitary two maybe a little more actually now that i'm looking at it yeah Got a little more cutting edge than the paramilitary too. Um, pair of three, way more cutting edge than the pair of three, and uh, longer of a knife too. Let's see if we can get a couple more out here. Um, this is the Demco knives, eighty twenty point five. More cutting edge than that. This is Quiet Carry nine. Quite carry nine, uh, uh, right at about man, maybe a little bit more cutting edge than the nine, but fairly close to it. Uh, a lot slimmer of a profile. The nine's a lot more broad. Um, and let's see, do one more. This is a Civivi. It's a Civivi Vision FG. Um, slimmer profile than the ones before, but uh, Kaiser Bag Lighter still got a little more cutting edge in it, so it's definitely a full size knife. It's just got a uh, kind of like a I guess you'd call it more like a modern day minimalist, uh, more slender profile, you know, it's not uh, super flashy or anything like that. Although it is a pretty good looking knife, pretty smooth knife. So, get the calibers out. Go ahead and do blade stock thickness. Thickest at the spine. Thickest part of the spine. You're looking at 121 thousandths right there. 100, 100 and, uh, 106 thousandths right there. 123 thousandths. Go down on the other side around where the cutting edge is at. 19 thousandths. 29 thousandths all the way at the tip kind of around where the the cur the belly curves up towards the tip right there uh, 30 thousandths 29 and a half thousandths right there pretty decently thin little uh little knife I, i'd say it's a good slicer um a lot of that's attributed attributed to the uh full flat grind you know there's it's not a hollow grind it doesn't you know drastically swedged down it just kind of tapers down 
to the full flat from the spine right there. Um, in my opinion, a, a, a pretty good little slicer. Um, go ahead and do the, while well, I got the calibers out, I'll do the handle thickness too. A little under half an inch. Um, yeah, it's it's not especially thin, not not really, not definitely not thick, but not uh, overwhelmingly thin as far as the the handle goes on that one. Um, all right, get the where's it at? Let me go ahead and get the scale out. Always got the scale buried underneath something, so bear with me. Um, Three point six, right? Just all, just a touch over the ounce and inch ratio there, as far as blade length, the uh, cutting edge length, blade length, the uh, ounce weight, you know, ounce to inch ratio. They call it. Just add it right there. Three point six, <clears throat> um, three and a quarter cutting edge, three point six ounces of weight, three and a half inch long blade. Really, nothing to complain about there in my book. Uh, another thing here, kind of see how it carries, I guess. Get the old blue jeans out. Got Kaiser's uh, standard pocket clip, not really a deep carry pocket clip. Uh, not the best pocket clip in the world, but not the worst either. I mean, uh, it it won't really snag on stuff too bad. It's not as bad as Civivi's uh, little spoon bill they got that sticks out. And that's all you're looking at sticking out when you're carrying it, so... You know, you can definitely see you've got a knife in your pocket, but not it, it doesn't uh, flag people down or anything like that. It's not crazy. All right, uh, do the hardware check. The T6. Make sure I show you guys that. I get the camera to focus. Come on. T6 bit. Body screw. Oh, that one's a little loose, actually. Yeah, that's T6. Pocket clip screw, T6. Alright. And the pivot. Almost positive the pivot's a T8. Where is it at? I'm trying to. Just want to focus on the knife, but that is a T8. That's definitely a T8 bit. Yep. So T8 on the pivot. Nice little pivot collar on the pivot. Kind of a nice little touch by Kaiser. Um, and it's got a captive pivot also. So that's definitely a good thing having that captive pivot. That means if you ever take this thing all the way apart. It's not just going to be spinning and spinning because uh, it'll stop. It's got to stop in there. Whereas if you're looking at a knife without a captive pivot, the other side will have the the little Torx bit hole right there, just the same as this side. So um, you only the benefit of that being, of course, you only have to use one driver. Um, overall, I'd say this knife is... is uh, pretty good pretty good little knife it's only 60 bucks right now uh the steel on it is n690 don't really have too many complaints about that it's uh in my opinion kind of on the higher end for a budget steel um you know it's not like s35 vn um and it's not to me is not as good as s30v or even uh cpm 154 but um still i, I think it's better than d2 um Right around the same uh, lines as uh, LC, uh, not LC200, and 14C, 28N, and uh, maybe Nitro V, you know, some of your higher end budget uh, steels. It's definitely better than like a 8CR, 13MOV, or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Having issues getting the camera to focus.
but it says it right there. N690. Maybe it's a gray PVD. I don't know. It says bag lighter here, Azo here. Um, that part's just kind of like the serial number. And right there, since the camera's not focused, and I'll just go ahead and tell you it says N690 on it. Um, pretty good texturing on the handles. I like the G10 that they use. Uh, really nice G10. Got a, uh, a coating on this one, actually, gray uh, PVD, I believe that is. Um, pretty good coating. It's running on phosphor bronze washers. No complaints there. It's not drop shut. It's not like a guillotine or anything. But um, the phosphor bronze washers do wear in over time. And... Uh, as they wear in the action gets better plus phosphor bronze uh, a lot of people and me included I guess uh, kind of find it better for uh, if you're gonna work in a more gritty dirtier environment phosphor bronze is a little better whereas like bearings have a tendency more so to get sand in it and uh, stuff caught up in the little bearings so that is, uh, oh, also about 60 bucks right now. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but, um, Kaiser bag lighter, this version about 60 bucks that now they have them in M390, 20 CV, uh, S35 VN, titanium, Tonto blades, uh, titanium handles, different colors, shapes, sizes, button lock, liner lock, you know, uh, this one's a liner lock. This is kind of like one of the more earlier uh, Kaiser bag lighters uh, that came out before the button lock craze really kicked in last year, year before. But um, great knife, you know, that's why they made it in so many versions because it definitely sold a lot of them for Kaiser. So I definitely recommend this knife. Um, I'm going to put it in the sub $100 knives playlist. And uh, if I ever do make a a uh, good recommended budget knife or whatever playlist this one will definitely be in it because this is overall a pretty good little knife um but that's about it you can find them on knife center amazon a bunch of other places i'll link the i think i think i got knife center link pulled up actually i'll just link that in the description for the video down below thank you guys for watching uh Appreciate everyone, everyone that subscribed to the channel. Sub subscribe if you're not already. Like the video if you like it. Sub to the channel if you want more content. I appreciate everything you guys do. And uh, every everybody that watches the videos, it means a lot to me. And uh, come back for more content. Have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you guys on the next one.